name is Malu Perez Rivera and welcome to Skip to Malu Cooking with a Filipino Accent. So today, we're gonna make tusok tusok the fish ball. If you grew up in the Philippines, you know where that colloquial phrase came from, right? Yes, we're going to make fish ball and also manong sausawan. The recipe that I'm going to share with you will be close with that of manong, but I think it's even better. But the sausawan, you know how we always ask for extra sausawan and extra anghang or whatnot. So that's what we're gonna learn today. Okay? So join me in the next few minutes as we demystify the process of how to make fish ball. Tagalats, mga baguettes! But first, you know, I do this every week. So here's our shout outs. Honey Bautista, thank you very much for watching all the time. Abs Taiko for always commenting here and also on my Facebook page. Of course, I want to say hello. Itomi Ducks Kaminaga from Dubai. Hello, kamusta ka dyan, kabayan? And of course, to my lovelies, the makabadbads who always find time to cook my recipes. Thank you so much, everyone, for the love you've been showing me. If you want to be featured, comment down below or you could buzz me on Skip to Malu page and also on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on that notification bell so that we'll see each other every week. Give the kids! So our first step is to process the fish. What I'm using is flounder which is about a pack which is 450 grams. So what I want to do is to roughly chop it and I'm using my processor to do the process. And here we go. What we're trying to do here is we're making a paste out of the fish and then with all the other ingredients. Note that the paste mixture should be always cold. That said, I used an icy cold fish. Then in here, I'm adding just one fourth cup of water. Since my fish is icy, you should have to take note that when it melts, it becomes liquid, right? So always take note on that, that you shouldn't put a lot of water. Trust me, I did it the first time and it was a disaster. Now let's add all the other ingredients. Onions, garlic, ginger here and then the onion leeks you could just roughly chop it as your chopper will do all the work for you and then for the umami flavor i'm putting in here dashi this is hand dashi and i'm putting a tablespoon also some sugar and then of course teaspoon of salt and lots of that oil. for the next two ingredients we're putting egg whites Up next is baking powder. Alright, and then now we're ready to put the cornstarch and the flour in here. So I'm putting half a cup of uh, cornstarch and one cup of flour. After all the ingredients are incorporated, we want to blend all the um, cornstarch, the flour, and the paste together. So we're using a stand mixer to do that and let it run for about 5 to 8 minutes until they're all well blended. After mixing it, um, it's also good to put your paste or this fresh paste in the fridge because that way its shaping will be a lot easier. So put it in the fridge for 30 to 45 minutes. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's shape it into bola bola. Alright, so in shaping it, um, use your right hand to press the paste and then there's a little ball that comes in the opening and then you spoon it out and that forms into a circle. So the next step is for us to poach our 
fish balls. And by doing that, um, I put it on low fire and then let the water just simmer. Do not let it boil. Just simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. It's gonna be low and slow. And after that, let's drain it and let it cool off a bit. Now, with these fish balls, you could use this for your soup or your pancit or wherever you want to. But then again, let's go back to our goal today, which is making fish balls. So now let's make our sauce, which is just gonna be a breeze. So four cups of water and then half a cup of soy sauce. And we add sugar and then salt and pepper then of course garlic lots of garlic add in onions cornstarch and then stir them together Let's pour that in a saucepan and easy peasy we'll just let it simmer and then give it a stir until it thickens So now let's divide the sauce into two. One would be just plain sweet and the other one would be spicy sweet. We set that aside and then now it's time for us to make the hot sauce by adding some Thai chilies. I chopped around two Thai chilies there. And all we need to do is mix it, stir it, and then we have maanghang nasa osawan. Now we're coming to a close. Um, let's fry our fish ball and we could test if the oil is hot when there are air bubbles that surround your stick. So there we go. We start by frying batch per batch. Do not overcrowd the frying pan because we don't want the fish balls to be sticking and also it makes frying much easier. And we fry it for about two to three minutes or even shorter for as long as the fish ball starts to brown up it all depends on you if you want it darker or just light I kind of want it in the middle just strain it and then put it in a strainer to drain out the excess oil and we're ready to eat it a la manong style fish ball to the sauce. I hope you have enjoyed another segment. This is Malou saying, that's a wrap!